Don't mind the crickets. Alexa, turn off bedroom lights. I can never tell if that's better. They look really dark in here. I mean, it is really dark in here. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Good morning, Vlogsters. Look, I got Jimmy's favorite cup. Guess what? Oh, I can't wait to tell you. It's sugar-free Italian sweet cream this morning. I I goofed up again, again, and neither one of us noticed it this time until it was too late. So I did really good filling up the medicine yesterday. I didn't mess up anybody's medicine. However, somehow I've got Jim's combler and he got mine. So before pump your brakes, pump your brakes. They do look a little different. But they mostly look the same. Mine is a newer version so that the writing on it is much thinner. <clears throat> and the colors actually are a little tiny lighter. But I went ahead and I just got another one that's like totally different color. Rainbow color. You can't mix them up. Can't mess them up. <sighs> Jim felt like he was like congested and then he had to go and um, just you wanted to get a... Uh, COVID test to make sure that it wasn't anything. He was sure it was allergies. It came, listen, it came right after the guy behind us mowed the field. And it always hits him right after the guy mows the field. And then if he doesn't, I'm not mad at him. He's fine. But if he doesn't keep on top of it with like draining it and using the sinus rinse and stuff like that, then it can get like to be a sinus infection and get icky and... You know, I, I'm only around him a few minutes every day for me to notice, to remind him. And then he's pretty much on his own for right now. So it's a little different, more difficult now. You know, normally I wouldn't make him the sinus tea and make him take. <laughs> I'd make him drink the tea and I would make sure he takes the meds and drains his sinuses and stuff. But, you know, it is what it is right now. So we had an appointment this afternoon to get a COVID test. But he was sure it wasn't, just to just to rule it out. However, he went to work this morning, before he went to work this morning. He took my meds last night, which means he had two gentle laxes. And he took my metformin, which we did talk to the pharmacist last time. And it's one dose is not going to kill anybody. Just it's going to cause your stomach upset because metformin is known to cause stomach upset. Usually not just one dose, but sometimes people have just one dose and it affects them. Jim, of course, already has a sensitive digestive system. So I kind of like, uh, I just kept apologizing this morning. I felt so bad. He didn't notice it until after he took his meds. He went to go look at the day meds to make sure they were okay. And he's like, I think I have one of your pills in here. And I was like, are you sure? Because I totally, I swear that, I know I didn't have my glasses on. But he takes ibuprofen now and I don't. So I was sure my pills that I took didn't have ibuprofen in them. But he swears that I took his and he took mine. So I really feel bad. And, and I can tell you that's true because he's been having stomach issues all morning. So he went to work. Um, he told, I said, just be honest with them. You know, you might just have to run to the bathroom a few times. But they said, even though he suspects, suspects the reason that it happened was because of the medication, they can't take a chance that it's not a stomach bug because working in the food service industry, you can't really take a chance of getting either the coworker sick or the, the people sick, the customer sick. So as I start to lose weight, it becomes flabbier. And now that I'm laying down, it's like I have a, a diagonal chin over here. I have like a Gumby chin. Remember Gumby with the head like this? I have a Gumby chin. <laughs> I crack myself up. I crack myself up. Okay. So anyhow, I feel really bad about that. So Jim's home today. I'm sure you guys will know this before this vlog goes up anyway, because this vlog's for tomorrow. So, But today is Monday. I told him when he came home. First, he called me to tell me that they were sending him home, and I said, so when he came home, I was like, yay, we can work on the office today. <laughs> so 
So if you watch yesterday's vlog, you know, I, I talked to him about it. I actually talked to him about most of it before, you know, about like feeling like sometimes I'm not a priority and uh, my, my needs aren't a priority. It's not this type of needs because obviously he's doing this, but just like getting the room, getting my room done, you know, like out of all the spaces, my, the craft room is the last to get done and type of thing. So, and he was most focused on it. He's like, I want to do that. I want to do that in the beginning. And I was like, well, we really can't do that first. We have to do this first. And, uh, well, really the priority, the first priority was always the bedroom and then the craft room. But I was like, we really can't do that until we do this because we have to get this out of there and that out of there. And that's how it would go. Um, anyhow, anyhow, I'm just saying, <laughs> um, okay, lost my train of thought right away. There's just not enough coffee in the world for this morning, I think. Yes, so I did talk to that to him about that before the video. We talked about that the night before. I think I mentioned it in the video, actually. But having the revelation that if I can sit, which I just chose not to sit today for the vlog, because I really just woke up, first of all. And secondly is I do want to do something sitting up later. And what I realized yesterday was, because yesterday I did the cobblers, the meds in the morning. So the day before yesterday, I sat and I vlogged. No. No. Let me get this straight. Sunday morning was the cobblers. Sunday afternoon was the coffee vlog. But that was yesterday. So was it Saturday I sat? Saturday I sat and I vlogged with you guys for a long time. Was I doing something when I vlogged that day? I didn't. I just sat and talked to you, right? Okay, good. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Can't lose what you didn't have, Jerry. Oh, my goodness. But what I realized yesterday was yesterday I sat and I did the cobblers. And then I went back and I sat and I did folded laundry. And the two time, And then I... and and Well, I didn't sit on the, co the commode for dinner, but I sat on the bed for dinner. But then I sat and ate dinner. And I realized that, oh, excuse me, it was a little bit too much yesterday. So I'm trying to reserve, you know, later I want to sit and I want to do a project. Uh, it's bills. I don't mean like a craft project, but I want to do bills and I want to be able to sit up and do that because it's just so much easier to write and keep your paperwork straight and stuff. So I'm saving my sitting up for later. So right now you got me laying down. Now laying down how did we do sitting up yesterday last night I was you know so for the last 36 hours I have not been taking my Voltaren cream um I, I was doing it four times a day then I switched out to three then I switched to two and then eventually I'm just like hey look it's it's uh it's not as bad as it's been I think the medication is starting to really do its trick um, I am learning to really stay off of my leg. And I know that that was what I was supposed to do before. But for some reason, like I mentioned in an earlier vlog, there is the difference between you should and you have to. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I was trying before. Now I am doing it. Like, because now I fear that it's what it is. I know what it is and I fear that I will make it worse. I mean, don't get me wrong. I wasn't bearing like total weight on it, but I was really bearing some weight on it. I'll be honest with you. You know, like tiptoes, I would stand on my tiptoe and like mostly lean to the left. But, you know, in all fairness, before I hurt myself, my left knee was my bad knee, so it's not that great. <laughs> not that great to begin with to be bearing all my weight on it, but I'm do it's doing it. It's doing the best it can. Oh, this hair is just a wreck. Aw. 
Did you guys hear that? I don't know if you heard that, but sometimes birds fly into the screen. And you're like, oh, when they fly into the window too, you're like, oh, I'm a birdie. What are you looking at? It's a screen. I see if you're flying in the window, you think you're going to meet another bird. <laughs> or coming in the house. Yeah, depending on the reflection. But when you're going to fly into the screen, what are you looking for? Anyhow, okay. Um, So, I wanted to vlog today to tell you guys how it's going. It's going well. It is, other than the fact that I killed my husband. Listen, the Tracy Ullman and Kevin Klein movie. Where they were supposed to be an Italian couple. And she tries to poison him because she thinks she's cheating on her. I can't remember of it. I can't remember the name of it. But that's what popped into my head when I was like, oh my god, I tried to kill my husband. And I didn't try to kill my husband. Sorry. Let me just, let me just interject that. First of all, it was completely an accident. And second of all, my medicine won't kill him. <laughs> it just makes him uncomfortable. Okay, let's see. Hmm. My family member that is in the hospital is still in critical condition, still not out of the woods. Um, still fighting, still fighting there. Increased the amount of oxygen that he has to take on his rest ventilator, which was sad because he was extra trending down. So we were hoping that it would keep going down, but I just continue, ask you for continued prayers, please. Just a healing, God healing prayers over him. Um, I do, I did share a video on Instagram of a woman who did the statistics of getting your vaccine and she's like I'm not a medical professional but I know numbers and she got all of her numbers from like the CDC website of um cases and I wanted to add to it the argument that I hear a lot that the CDC's people who have COVID and who have died from COVID numbers are inflated so she said there's a one in 61 one in 61 people will die from COVID. Let's just say, for argument's sakes, the CDC has doubled their numbers. Just let's say they doubled their numbers. There haven't been 600,000 people who have died. There's only been 300,000 people who have died. Let's just say that. I mean, still 300,000 people, don't get me wrong. But now you have a one in 121, 122 chance. That's still not great. When you get the vaccine, you have a 1 in 87,000, I think it is, chance of dying from COVID. So it's like 87,000 chance or 121 chance. So even if you're, if you're going to play devil's advocate and say that the CDC is inflating their numbers of how many people are actually dying by twice, like say they doubled their numbers, that's an incredible um, accusation. But still, let's just say that. Then... Anyhow, okay. Oops. Hold on. Sorry, I feel really bad. I just start crying. He's like, don't get upset. <laughs> it's hard. I don't want to see him sick and I can't take care of him. And Anyhow, okay. All right. Stop crying. <laughs> Okay, take another sip of coffee. It makes you feel better. Mm. Hmm. I didn't move this, but it looks like I moved it. That's weird. Um, all I did was press stop and start again. Look here. Um, I'm sure I have no idea what I was talking about. It's gone. I think it's actually caramel macchiato now that I tasted it better. Try caramel macchiato with a splash of pumpkin spice in it. That's good. 
I was talking about sitting up and I was talking about doing stuff later. And I don't remember, guys. I'm sorry. So Jim, his like congestion or whatever, he wasn't feeling good yesterday. So he said we washed, we did the, um, we did the laundry. He did the laundry and I folded it. <laughs> We did the laundry yesterday, so we were going to change the sheets last night because we usually change them on Sunday, but he wasn't feeling good and we just rested and I was like, you know what? They're not in that bad shape. Like I didn't make any major spills or maybe major accidents or whatever. So, um, we're going to probably do that tonight, but maybe we'll do that today when he's done. Um, so it's probably a blessing that he's home today because he wasn't feeling good that well over the weekend. He actually, um, you know, when the week, when he works five days a week, when he was at Casey's and such, he, um, he would usually have the two day weekends, two days together and say the one day I'm going to rest, whichever day he chooses. And the other day is when he's going to do housework for me personally, the way I like to do it when I have a day off is, or two days off in a row was to actually to be honest with you what I like to do is rest like if it was Saturday and Sunday what I like to do is like rest till like two o'clock on Saturday do whatever I wanted to Saturday night and Sunday till like noon and then take the rest of Sunday and rest like I would do a little bit each day but I would do it in a row if that makes any sense um like not Sunday morning Saturday morning and Sunday morning and then rest Saturday night and Sunday night I would do like you know, recuperate, do the work, finish the work, and then recuperate type of situation. But that's just me. I mean, everybody's different. Um, and then when I got to the point where we were in a routine, like after my father passed away, I would just do everything on Saturday and rest on Sunday. But um, that's, you know, how it, how it went. And then when I was working at the group home, my days off were Sunday and Monday. So, I mean, that's what I mean by it. So, I would just do everything I needed to do on Sunday. Unless, um, it was like grocery shopping or running errands that required a Monday, like a weekday. So, that's when I would do that. I would go and do all that on Monday. Because I have and probably always will despise going to the grocery store on the weekend. telling you in New York it was like the first day of the sale or the weekends you just don't want to go to the grocery store <laughs> I don't say it ain't much better here but the first day of the sale isn't usually terrible here that's usually Wednesdays sales start on Wednesdays here at both of the other grocery stores that aren't Walmart excuse me and all the they, they, all the goes from Saturday, you know, like Sunday to Monday type, uh, Sunday to Saturday type of thing. So, so I ordered new cobblers. I think that was just telling Jimmy that I said, I ordered new ones. I got a rainbow one, so we can just store the other one away. I liked his, which is why I got the same one. I truly, truly, truly never considered because I would have written on them or whatever. Like I just never considered that we would make this mistake twice. Well, I made it this time. He made it last time. But you understand what I'm saying. Like, the fact. Because last time I took his medicine, he brought me in a cup, I think. I think that's what happened. I can't remember. I can't remember. Sorry, I have a pain. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes you don't even realize you're like. I'll be talking to my sisters and I'll be like, and if I'm on face, I'm like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, oh, I had a pain. I, don't like <laughs> I was just working it out. You know, I forget I'm on FaceTime and not just talking to you on the phone. Oh boy. Um, my pain level is much more manageable right now. My body has a lot of muscle memory, so when I start to do things, 
when I exercise myself out, I always feel better afterwards. I feel exhausted right away, and then I feel better afterwards next day and stuff. So that's why I really want to get some treatment planned on and figure out what I can and cannot do. But today's Monday, and I'm just waiting, waiting by the phone for the orthopedist to call. If I don't hear from him by lunchtime, I will definitely call his office again. Because I need to figure out what's next. Schedule his biopsy. Figure out what's going on. What does he want me to do? I called the on-call over the weekend because I didn't get any answers from his office. So I called the on-call for Mercy Clinic in Ozark. My friend got me the number. My friend was very persistent that I call and talk to somebody about my results um she really wanted to see me be admitted and have the tests done but there just wasn't anybody there unfortunately it's just she said and she shocked she chalked it up to missouri um and i was like yep but um so i'm looking forward for him to get back to me today so I have an idea of what we have to do next um and hopefully he calls me back because I wouldn't mind terribly actually having a conversation with him about how it's going and how my pain is managed for the most part the thing that I'm having the worst the most trouble with now as far as my hip is concerned is sitting up straight. No, not not sitting up. It's getting up. So I, I have to get up. I have to roll over. And then I have to like lean to the side. It hurts. But if I try to like sit up like this, like my abs can do it. Like I can do it. Oh, what am I doing? Why am I showing you? <laughs> my abs can lift me up. So it's not about like I can't lift up, but the, the way that my... The way that my hip joint wants to work from from like this position like it's currently like this and when it wants to go like this is where i'm like it's like hell to the no actually getting up from the mri table because i had to be positioned over towards the right a little bit getting up from the mri table was a little bit more difficult because it required me to have to sit up kind of straight like that but the two girls Angela on this side and Michelle on this side grabbed the sheet from underneath me and helped and pulled as I sat up. And I was like, whoa, I was like, rock stars. Wowzers, thanks, ladies. And I was like, ooh, that was amazing. They were like, no problem. I'm like, no problem, geez. That's each of you. Well, I guess I, if, if it was my full weight, I was like, that's each of you, you know, with a 160 on you. But it's not really my full weight because, first of all, the table is supporting some. Um, they're only actually lifting my top half and I was working some too, so. But still rock stars, right? Um, so I would like to tell him that, but as far as pain management's concerned, as long as I'm staying off of it, I don't really, you know, I feel it when I move. I feel it when I roll over. I feel it when I roll over. I'm having more difficulty laying on that side than I was in the beginning that I have been I don't know if it's because the entire road trip is on my left and my body's just like you did that enough this week or um <clears throat> or if it's like the way the bed is I'm not 100% sure to be honest with you so it's much more comfortable for me to lay on it it's not it's much less comfortable for me to get on this side than it was before rolling over to this side is where I have my most pain spike throughout the entire day, including trying to sit up straight, I swear. For some reason, rolling over on this broken leg. No, but I just felt like in the beginning it was fine. It really was. I'm reminding you, take my meds. I'm reminding you, take my meds. Let's make sure they are my meds. It's my meds. Um, 
So Sorry about that. You know what I just realized? Alexa, turn on bedroom lights. You guys haven't seen this yet, so let me do that. Let me take you with me, okay? Let's let me take you with me. So here's what I do. First, I have to fix the blankets. Cause you can't roll over on the blankets. I'm gonna turn off the light. <laughs> I don't have any backlighting. Okay, so I push off on the commode to get myself onto my back and I bend my right knee. My right knee ever so, so it's left up with, with the left knee. I do that because when I roll over the left knee, the right knee needs to stay bent. So I grab the headboard, which somebody said, be careful of your arms. But honestly, my arms are very strong, but still, yes, thank you. Thank you for your concern. I move both hips at the same time and scoop my booty on the other way. So my booty got scooted. My legs are now flopped over. See, legs flopped over. And now I grab the headboard here and I switch my feet. I slid my feet, I scooch my booty again. And I, this is the part that hurts. Okay. Let's see. So, first of all, that's just my legs. So right now, if you're interested, I feel a sharp burning pain coming from my knee up to my thigh. Nothing hurts in the hip right now. That's really the all the pain that I'm having. Okay, I'm gonna scoot this leg this way. And now I grab onto the sheet that's technically holding the camera. <laughs> so I grab onto the sheet and I bring my bad leg over. So it's like, like a model pose. And then I have to grab my pillows. Oh, or Jimmy's pillows. So sometimes I will lay like this where I'm just in my spot. So if I'm laying with Jimmy and I'm watching TV and we're laying together, I'm just in my spot. But what you guys are so used to seeing is I back you up. I take the... I take his pillow, his big fluffy pillow here, and his not so fluffy pillow or my not so fluffy pillow and I put it on top and this is the part that gets a little tricky as I got to worm across the bed now what's better about doing it this way which I forgot the remote is that I can watch TV better. So if I watch TV with Jim, I'm watching down from the bottom of my eyeballs. And that's a little, excuse me, that's a little, excuse me, the pills are going down. That's a little bit more difficult. So you guys stay there for a second. Let me grab all my stuff. Even though I just did all that, now I have to undo it, right? Good job, Jerry. Oh. Okay. Ow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put 
this down and this and my water. My egg, my remote, and my cup. Oh, this remote. Ah. I'll do that again. I'll do that whole thing again. Okay. Now, I have to have the coffee flat. So I use the iPad like a table. Okay. Put the coffee down. And I use the water bottle to balance the coffee cup. Okay. Score. And you guys are worried about me having workouts. Look, that's a great, this is a great angle. <laughs> okay. Now I got to worm myself back into position. Okay. So. When I have to scooch up here, I wonder if I can move you back at all. When I have to scooch up here, what I actually do is I throw myself on my stomach. If you guys don't know that I sleep on my stomach the best, so I don't know if you ever have a similar injury and you're a stomach sleeper, just know that for me, it works really, really well. Getting up, I told you, on my elbow. Oh! Oh, that hurts. See, warming up. Warming up is the worst. I don't like it. You don't let me like it. I don't want to like it. You don't have to. I don't have to like it. I, I don't. I don't want to like it. I don't have to like it. You can't make me like it. <sighs> okay. Sometimes that pain takes your breath away. Like, you're like, oh, the physical, the physical exertion is not exerting. It's the freaking pain. Guys, what's going on? So that's how I maneuver. That is how I maneuver from one side to the other. It's not easy and it's not not it's not difficult because I'm fat. <laughs> it's not easy because it hurts. Um and I have a itch on my back, sorry. Um it's not it's it's painful and now my my knee is throbbing like it is like whoa, whoa. and it's still that sharp pain shooting up my thigh which I'm sure isn't good um but without it being immobilized like I don't know what else to do hold on a second Let's try this. Okay, there we go. Okie dokie. That's better. I was like, all you guys are seeing is pillow. That's not nice to see pillow. Okay. So now I'm on this side. And this side has been less comfortable. So uh, I would literally, I make myself swap every two hours. But it used to feel... Minimum two hours, I'm sorry. It used to feel just painful switching. But I felt like if, like if, okay. I felt like if I didn't have to remind myself for a two hour mark, I'd be able to lay here longer. And I know I have, because when I have visitors and I just lay here the whole time we're visiting, like this. But what I find now is it's less comfortable to lay here longer. Like I feel like at the two hour mark, I'm ready to get up and move over and lay on the other side. So, laying on that side does put pressure on it, which I don't know if it's that whole, like, when it hurts and you rub it situation. I'm not really sure if that's why. Or if it's got to do with blood flow. Or I just know that getting into that position is difficult. I am learning, like, move slower and with purpose. So, like, last night I went to go lay down. I went to go roll over on my side. 
So when I lay, when I lay down during the day, I lay at the edge of the bed so I can reach the stuff on the table. But when I lay down at night, I try to get myself far over as possible so that when I'm ready to roll on my stomach to go to sleep, I don't have to scooch too much. So last night when I was doing that, I moved over as far as possible. And when I went to go roll over, I realized that if I move my hips and my legs together, like not, not leaving the good leg on the floor and like moving them individually, if I moved, if I put them next to each other and I move them together, it helps a little bit. So I've been purposefully doing that when rolling over on that side all oh, since then last night. Both three times I did it. <laughs> and, you know, both times I went to the bathroom. So um, I'll figure this one out too. That's all. So I think that'll probably be it for now. I'm going to say goodbye for this morning. Go ahead and uh, finish your coffee. I'm going to finish mine. I'm going to have my hard-boiled egg breakfast. Now that Jimmy's home, maybe I can get everything but the bagel seasoning on it. Um, and enjoy your day. Get out. It's beautiful out. I mean, it might not be beautiful where you live, but it's beautiful here. And get out and enjoy some sunshine, okay? All right. I love you guys. And as always, you take care. God bless. And I'll see you next time. Bye.